We're gonna make a smoothie. Where'd you get your protein? Bulk supplement. Thank you very much. <laughs> half calorie, half calorie. Oh, some celery and some, no. Half celery, half kale. Kale and some celery, some celery and some kale. <laughs> What's in my little toolbox? Turn it off, turn it on again. Make sure that stuff is well blended before you put the fruit in. Alrighty then. Oh, just make a quick bulk supplement video, he said. Okay, we'll just ignore that mess and pretend it didn't happen. Shh. Extreme detail, rice protein moringa. Rice protein moringa. Size does matter. Bulk supplement sponsored. Drinking it out of the blender. That's enough for me. Oh, I don't need any much name and more. I'm full now. We accept the reality of the world with which we're presented. It's as simple as that. An entire human life recorded on an intricate network of hidden cameras and broadcast live and unedited 24 hours a day seven days a week to an audience around the globe. One of only two man-made structures visible from space. Now, in its 30th great year, it's the Sitcam. show! Seb, this is the Cam Boom, this is Seb Cam, and this is April Cam. Look when I scratch. I scratch her, she's like, oh, 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 neck goes backwards. Scratches, we like the scratches. Look at you, oh. Where's <laughs> my buddy? Where's my buddy there? Oh. Come on, bud. Looking outside? Hmm? What's out there? Who is it? Who's there? So this is my little laptop station that seems to be the favourite place for the cat to sit now. Um, you can look out the window, I suppose it's a nice spot. Hey, you looking out the window? It's also where I store all my fruits. One, two, three, four. And they're different levels of greenness. See, they're quite green down there and then slowly getting more ripe as we move our way up. These are a bit more brown, and these are really properly spotty. We've also got mangoes. Tons of mangoes. One, two, three, four, five boxes of mangoes, and then a few pineapples there. I did have 10 pineapples. Alrighty then, I've got these nice, ripe, spotty, organic nanas to join these, which were selected for being a bit too squishy. We're gonna make a smoothie. Bulk supplement sponsored. What's in my little toolbox? Extreme detail, going into great detail of each ingredient and the process of making my favorite smoothie, my go-to bananas and greens, with a few possible variations. So, without further ado, let's get a blender. Number one, make sure it's a big one. Size does matter. I happen to use this Hamilton Beach. It's available at Walmart for $25. There's only really two important things to remember when you buy a blender, it needs to be big. You to have enough volume, like two litres, or at least a litre and a half, to be big enough to make a big meal. You don't want to have a tiny little stupid thing where you have to add one banana at a time. It's not going to, you're not going to make a meal out of it. You can't have a fruit meal in a tiny blender. Second most important thing is that the motor is four, five, or maybe 600 watts. You need the highest amount of watts possible and the biggest amount of volume possible then you're on to a winner. I prefer these blades. These seem to drag everything down to the bottom and are much more effective at pulverizing, blenderizing, pureeing greens. What I wouldn't recommend is this. This is a Ninja and it's got this stupid column in the middle with an excessive load of blades on it. It's just kind of dangerous looking. It's more hassle to clean and it doesn't actually uh, liquefy the greens. It just kind of chops things up and leaves little flakes of kale or celery or whatever. 
because it doesn't drag them all down to the bottom and liquefy. So don't go for a ninja. Just don't do it. Stay away from the ninja. There are Vitamix blenders that can cost 500 to a thousand dollars, and I think it's completely unnecessary. If this is twenty-five dollars for a Hamilton Beach, and it's perfectly sufficient, then I could buy ten of them before I've spent two hundred and fifty dollars. I could buy twenty of them to get to five hundred dollars. Could buy forty. 40 of these in the lifetime of a Vitamix. I just don't think it's necessary. I think it's too big of a hurdle to have to jump over to be like, I'm going to do fruitarian, raw foods, vegan, whatever. I'm going to have fruit meals, blender meals. Oh, wait, the smoothie maker is $1,000. But eventually what will happen is this. Like, wee, and the motor was like making a strange smell. And it's, uh, it's just losing its power. So we're retiring that blender, but fear not. I bought another one, exactly the same. They're only 25 bucks each, remember? I bought this one originally when I arrived in Los Angeles at Danny Mountain's house, Woodland Hills, May 2021. So it's lasted a year and a half. 25 bucks. And now I have spare parts. This one can still work on here. You can almost see the uh, the age. That's a new one. That's an old one. The lid, for example, it's useful, right? It's lots of spare parts. Here we have some vanilla almond milk. You could pour that in there and add enough to kind of cover the blades, but it's going to be, you know, kind of expensive over time, always having to buy the almond milk and thinking you need it just to make a smoothie, which you don't. I'd rather keep the almond milk for some special hot chocolate or a dessert or whatever. I could make my own, nutter it up. Here's the thing, there's going to be so many different ingredients that go in there. You've got the bananas, you've got the greens, you've got... I'm going to do a peanut butter. Cacao! Right, we can make a chocolate version. There's going to be so many ingredients in there that you're going to lose the almond milk or the plant milk or whatever. In It's not going to make that much difference. You're not going to notice whether it's water or almond milk. I think if I put the two side by side and said, try it, taste it, can you tell the difference? I don't think you'd be able to tell. So, just one less thing. So, I'm going to put water in here. It looks a bit white because there was almond milk in there, but it is just water, plain water. Zero water, I'll have you know. I never know exactly how much it is, I just know I have enough to cover the blades. Something to sink your greens in so that when it spins, it all pulls it down. Doesn't really matter what greens, I've got some celery and some, no, some kale and some celery, some celery and some kale, some kale and some celery. Kind of inspect the leaves like this and make sure there's nothing. No strange little insects or any dead leaf or more mud and dirt. Boom, so the kale is in there. You can see I removed the stalky bits. That is just personal preference. And you're kind of having to chew it and it's just a bit more chunky than if you remove the stalky bits. And what I'm really trying to get is the green pigment, the chlorophyll that is similar to red blood cells and uh, acts like a blood transfusion and cleans your blood and, and gives you a whole revitalizing green photosynthesizing pigment, right? It's that what I'm actually going for. And there wouldn't be much chlorophyll in the stalky bits. I'm gonna now add some celery. Could easily fit the entire celery in there, but I'm doing half calorie. Half calorie, half celery, half kale. Just wanna take off these dead end bits personal preference thing. Then, crunch it in there. The celery will weigh down the kale. So it's looking like that. The water's up to there, the greens are up to the top. If your blender seems to be just spinning and all the stuff is staying above and not falling down, turn it off, turn it on again. A 
bit of pulsing action will make it fall down, and of course, a little bit of a shake, or worst case scenario, you can do a whole big <laughs> boom, boom, really shake it around. If you're new to this and you're thinking, Ugh, I don't want to eat all those greens, and you want to be full and satiated, I would say use oats, so you can fill up with water. You could use almond milk, but it would probably be a waste. I mean, oat milk is made of water and oats. So you just blend your oats, again, to liquefy it right down to a puree. And then it's gonna be much thicker and creamier. You could add something like cacao, chocolate powder, and your bananas would go in at the end. That would be a really thick, chocolatey, satiating meal. Now it wouldn't be as healthy, you wouldn't have the greens in there. What you could do is slowly tiptoe from the oat chocolate to adding a little bit of greens. So little that you don't even notice. And then slowly using less oats and more greens. And that's kind of where I've come to with this. I used to put oats in there. I don't need to anymore. There's just so much greens. <laughs> Notice that I dropped the rice protein powder in there while it was spinning. That's another advanced technique. You want to be careful, of course, taking the lid off and it's not going to spray everywhere. If I stop it, dump the powder in, then make it spin again, the powder ends up sticking to the edges and it's kind of annoying. Um, it's also time efficient to have it still blending those greens while I'm grabbing the protein powders. Now, I said I would go into extreme detail, extreme detail, rice protein. I asked Bulk Supplements if they would please send me rice protein as my goodies of the month. But I thought, I don't want just one kilo of it. It's gonna, not gonna last, it's already empty. I run out already. So I asked if they could send me five kilos. And they did. They were amazing. Look at it. Rice protein, rice protein, rice protein, rice protein. There are so many of them, it's amazing. Where'd you get your protein? And moringa. We'll get to the moringa in a minute. Amino acid profile of the rice protein. Where'd you get your protein? Bulk supplements. Thank you very much. Here's a close up of what I'm going to be reading you guys. You can see the amino acid profile. Possibly you can read it, pause it whatever. I do 50 grams-ish, maybe even 60 sometimes if it's a big heaped uh, scoop. Per 100 grams, just going to pick out a few of the amino acids here, arginine, there would be almost 7 grams, 7% 7 of the 100 grams. Um, leucine, 7 grams. Tryptophan, 1 gram. Aspartic acid, 7 grams. Like I've even got an aspartic acid here. I've been buying it and supplementing it and adding it in. Maybe I didn't need to. There's seven grams in every hundred grams. I'm already getting a lot of it. What I do is I dump it out the bag into the tubs. I'm in the car or the kitchen or wherever I am. It's just more convenient than trying to pour a bag and you get a sudden landslide and everything falls out and makes a big mess. I actually like their thr no thrills packaging. Like there's no need to have a big plastic tub every single time you want to have some protein. Um, this is actually a great way to do it. And my tub is full. I'll put my big scooper in there. Boop. That one can go out in the car. Back to the tubs, I use this old tub. I put mo on the top, don't know if you can even read it. Mo ringa. So I pour out a, a big dollop like that. No, oh, I just put it on my arm. See, there's nothing much left in there. Fear not, for bulk supplements have come to the rescue. Moringa extract. One kilogram of this very strong medicinal green most nutrient dense. The density of nutrients in Moringa is crazy. The nutrition profile, it packs the most punch per gram compared to any other green. You can't guarantee the Ziploc bag is gonna seal very well. You might end up with Moringa going everywhere. 
Do I really trust it? So I'm going to double bag it just to be sure. Oh, there you go. Already some squidged out, right? It was already a good choice. It already wasn't properly sealed and it made a mess. Oh, I just dropped it everywhere. Let's look at the mess I just made. Ah, uh, it's everywhere. This is exactly what I was talking about that you don't want to happen. Exploding bags. Just make a quick bulk supplement video, he said. It'll be really quick. Just make a smoothie and show the people the recipe. It won't take long, he said. Wait for the editing. Wait for the editing. Wait, wait, wait for the, wait for the editing. Can we cut this bit as well, please? Okay, we'll just ignore that mess and pretend it didn't happen. Shh, don't tell anyone. What we have here is a little bit of water, some greens, doesn't matter what greens, or could be oats. Then you can put in some of your special bulk supplements powders. Now I use so many powders that I can probably seem quite overwhelming. So I'm just gonna say the best one to go for, rice protein and moringa. Moringa, rice protein, moringa, rice protein, moringa. That is a great place to start, right? You don't wanna make things too complicated. You wanna make it easily accessible. Make sure that stuff is well blended before you put the fruit in. All right then, here's the once a day bulk supplement mix. This is more advanced level uh, stuff. This is what I have mixed up so that I don't have to get out all of these individual bags. But I'm gonna tell you what's in there so you know. Aspartic acid, MSM, magnesium, horny goat weed, and L-glutamine. All of those have gone in here and then got mixed up like that. So that now all I have to do is pour out my daily dose, which I just kind of guess, to be honest. I know that there's 10 lots of everything in there. So if I do 10, pour it 10 times, the ratios take care of themselves. So I don't want that to overcomplicate it. Don't worry yourself about all those things I just added. Um, that's just, you know, something you can work on later. Just begin with rice protein and moringa if you're beginning. But if you're interested in more gains, then that is where they're at. And last, but by no mean least, this tiny little one takes a very, very small 80 milligram dose. So I don't mix it in with everything because the dose is so tiny, it's like just a blob of it. Whoop. Testosterone booster, that one. Long Jack, Tongkat Ali. Now we're done with that. We're just about ready to add the bananas. But I have another surprise, and this is why it's my favorite recipe. I would be happy with just that. Greens, where'd you get your protein? Rice protein, moringa, and then whack the bananas in there. But this is a special occasion. So we're getting out the peanut butter, the PB. But this isn't actually what it says on the tub. This is just the tub left over from when I bought it once. What I've done is I bought it from Bulk Supplements. They have the peanut butter powder and they have it in huge big bags. You can get it much more cost effective. Then I just keep refilling the tub like I always do. 90% fat, less fat, six grams of protein. It's a scoop like this size, a full lid. For that 30 grams, it's only three grams of fat and 12 grams of protein. That's amazing. So there's an extra load of protein going in there. So that's another one of these many bags I have here. I'm making such a mess here. I wanted to give you a close-up view of what we've got going on, but I just left all these splatters everywhere. Just a good old cassette boy. Never meaning no harm. Another worthwhile habit of mine is to scrape the peel with a spoon because there's a lot of nutrient dense and uh, health giving properties in the peel. 
So I tend to peel one small piece like that that can be chopped out and that way I'm left with a wide piece of peel that I can scrape with the spoon and get some of that really potent, powerful, good stuff. At first it seems a bit clumsy and it takes longer, but over time you'll become quick with the spoon and you'll get the peeling right so that you leave yourself with a wide piece of peel to spoon off. Boom. So I'm going to blend it, pulsing it on and off to drag the bananas from the top down to the bottom. On, off. Off. Great. Now let's drag the bananas down. Now I'm going to drink it a little bit because I want to get more bananas in there. Then it'll be more sweet than it is right now and have more calories. And it already tastes great because I can taste that peanut butter. Get your PB powder from Bulk Supplements. Someday the law might get them Fighting the system like a two modern day Robin Hood Perfect. Cheers. That's how easy it is. I, I know I made a mess. I don't normally make this much of a mess. I hope you make less of a mess. But... Mmm. It tastes delicious. I would highly recommend drinking it out of the blender. You could pour a glass and be a bit more uh, sophisticated. But how many of these are you going to drink? Probably at least five, six glasses. It's hardly worth pouring it. You want to have a fruit meal instead of having whatever dead, cooked, sad foods you were having. If you only have one crappy little glass and you say, oh, that's enough for me, oh, I don't need any much name, I'm full now, you won't be full in an hour. It won't last you very long. So get used to nailing in the calories, slugging down at least 10, 15, maybe 20 bananas. You could add your peanut butter powder, you could add your chocolate powder, you could do oats, you could do greens, and maybe you're gonna buy some moringa and rice protein powder. Go check out boxsupplements.com, it is amazing, otherwise I wouldn't keep recommending it. You can tell, I literally have so many bags of box supplement stuff just everywhere. I literally live on the stuff, and you can get a decent discount off if you use the SEBCAM code, and that helps me, and that helps you, and that helps everyone, and yeah, this is a, a great little arrangement. I wouldn't be bringing you these recipe videos if it wasn't for bulk supplements encouraging me to do so. You see what I mean? I would normally just be living my life vlogging, but not necessarily explaining in great detail, extreme detail, or even down to the amino acid profile of the rice protein or the recipe making specifically how I do what I do. So we got bulk supplements to thank for that. Big shout out to them. And thank you for supporting me on my adventures and journey. And, and also, look at the gains. Look at it. You know, it's working. Like, I don't know if we have a before and after comparison. I'd say we're looking fitter and healthier than we ever have. My name's Seb. This is the cam. Boom. This is set cat. It's always a good idea to have a pie. I can eat a 40 foot pie. An exclusive behind the scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb cat. <laughs> yeah.